Hey everybody, welcome to PBM's Video Entertainment, and welcome back to another episode of Thomas and Friends TV Reviews. And yes, yeah, sorry, I've been, uh, <laughs> been on break for a few days, been busy with stuff, but at least I'm back now. Anyways, <laughs> in this video we will be talking about Come Ride the Rails, so without further ado, let's jump into the history of Come Ride the Rails. So Come Ride the Rails was originally released back in September 12th of 2006 by Hit Entertainment and 20th Century Fox, and then somewhere around 2010, it was re-released by Lionsgate, and Come Ride the Rails was also released over in Canada as well. And of course, just like with most Thomas Home Eater releases, Come Ride the Rails received a wooden train bonus pack release, and you can either get this one, or this one, which comes with another Thomas DVD, as well as two Thomas wooden railway toys. And then somewhere around 2011, Come Ride the Rails was re-released by Lionsgate once again, but this one comes with bonus flashcards. And also, Come Ride the Rails can be found in DVD multi-packs as well, such as Steam Engine Stories. Let's explore with Thomas. And also Discovery on the Rails. And now we got the history part out of the way, let's jump into my copies of Come Ride the Rails. Alright, we will now jump into my copies of Come Ride the Rails, starting with the 2006 20th Century Fox release with the original case and the case is dark blue pretty nice so we have thomas up top with the thomas and friends logo come right the rails title card and you can see thomas pulling annie and clarabelle and then you got edward james emily percy gordon and henry looking at thomas pretty cool henry's eyes look a little wonky and i think gordon is too yeah but it doesn't matter. The post, the front post art still looks nice no matter what. It's fine. We have Cartoon Thomas still with us. Thomas Friends logo, Come Ride the Rails, old style Hit Entertainment logo distributed by 20th Century Fox. DVD logo. Back. Thomas and Friends making tracks to great destinations. What is? Eh, I don't know. And you can watch this in English or in Spanish. And here's your blurb, and story stops, and fun and games, entertainment, 20th Century Fox, and all that copyright information at the bottom. Link to the Thomas website, running time is 50 minutes, plus bonus features, and our storyteller is Michael Brandon. And my copy did not come with a booklet, unfortunately. So here's the disc. Pretty nice artwork. Here's a slim case version of Come Ride the Rails. The front post art's the exactly the same thing. <coughs> Spine's basically different. You can see how thin it is. Yeah. Comparing to comparing to this one. While well, this one, like Cartoon Thomas and the Thomas Friends logo, they're like up top, like a couple of inches from the title card. And then same thing with the hit logo and the 20th Century Fox logo. They're a few, basically a few inches away from Come Ride the Rails title card. <laughs> the back, basically exactly the same. Here's the disc, same exact thing. Here's the 2010 Lionsgate re-release. <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised this was re-released in 2010 and not 2009 because uh, most of the, back then in 2009, like most of the Thomas and Friends DVDs would be re-released in 2009 by Lionsgate. Like such as Make Someone Happy and Spills and Chills, you name it. From post starts exactly the same, but the spine's different. You have the new style hit entertainment logo up top. And then at the bottom you got a same promo shot of Thomas, just like this one up front. Distributed by Lionsgate. And then the back is different. Let me actually compare it real quick. Oh yeah, the back sides are completely different. That's pretty cool. Let me open this up. Here's the disc. And here's 
on this side you have an advertisement for Rory the racing car and the other side advertises Mega Bloks Thomas yeah when it comes to Mega Bloks Thomas I would prefer I prefer those like over those like massive ones yeah because uh well these Mega Bloks Thomas uh, Thomas toys like they look they basically look like most of them look accurate to the uh, to the CGI era and stuff like that, like their faces and uh, and also I guess you could say their character designs. Anyways, let's jump into the menu tour for Come Ride the Rails. All right, we have now jumped into the menu tour for Come Ride the Rails. So we have Play All, Story Stops, Fun Games, and Select a Language. Let's go to Play All to show you guys something. Basically, this the exact same thing, just like with Track Stars and Tales from the Tracks. So we have Play Once, or Play Continuously. Story Stops. Let's go to that right now. And Thomas will take us there. I gotta say, the animation looks pretty nice for a Thomas and Friends DVD menu tour. Oh, we saw Percy rushing by. So, or puffing past. <laughs> Excuse me. So, for our story stops, we have Molly's Special Special, Respect for Gordon, Emily Knows Best. Let's go to more. We have Saving Edward, Reneas and the Dinosaur, and Thomas and the Golden Eagle. And you could play all of them, or you could pick one, whichever one y'all want to do. Let's go to our fun games. And you could see James pulling up to the water tower. So for our fun games options, we have <clears throat> Toby's Day Out, Seeing Seals, Sir Topham Hat's Helping Hand, Percy's Favorite Things, Gordon's Gallery, Songs and More, and Sneak Peeks. Let's go to Songs and More real quick. For our Songs and More, we have Sharing, Sharing, Roll Call Song, and Getting to the Washdown. And if we go to More, we have Showing Their Friendship, Dot to Dot, and Emily Respects. And I think for sneak peeks, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just pay, it'll just play through uh, the sneak peeks from Hit Entertainment and stuff like that. And select a language. We have you can watch this in English or in Spanish. And that's it for the menu tour for Come Ride the Rails. Now let's jump into my review and thoughts of Come Ride the Rails. So overall, do I recommend Come Ride the Rails? Well, if you're a Thomas fan that loves the hit era and if you love season nine, this one's for you. But if you're if you're not a fan of if you're a Thomas fan that is not a fan of the hit era and if you hate season nine, then this one's not for you. So that's gonna do it for me everybody and the next episode will be on DVD Bingo, so please stay tuned for that. See y'all next time. Bye.